Hey guys, what's happening? Hope you're having a good day so far. Well, we have kind of a weird trick that you might not have uh, known about, but you might know about it. So we're going to look at that today with multiplying and divided by powers of 10. Um, I know like when I was a kid, I had teachers that would uh, do give us these problems like 7.0, you know, 0 0.06 times, you know, 10,000 and all this, and they didn't tell us. And we're sitting there going 7.006 times 10,000. Oh, 10,000. Uh, do I? Okay. And then ah, 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 we just like started crying and decided to run away and become gypsies and, you know, avoid the world the rest of our lives. If we had only known what we know now, but they, you know, they didn't tell us. But here we go. Well, you tell me the answer to this. What is 8 times 10? We know the answer is 80. 50 times 10? 500. 0 0.7 times 10, in other words, 7 tenths of 10 is just 7, right? Now, you know, that's just something you know, but there is a principle here. If you multiply something by 10, like the decimals right here with an 8, right? Well, the new number, if you multiply by 10, like here's the 8, you just pop it over one time, and the answer is 80. The decimal here is there for the 50. If you move it over one time, multiplying by 10, that's 500, which is true. Same thing over here, multiply by 10, move it over one time, there you go. And this is the principle basically. When you multiply by powers of 10, in other words, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so on, all you do is you count the number of zeros there are in the power of 10, and if you're multiplying, you move it over to the right that many times, however many, however many zeros there are. If you're dividing, you go to the left that many times, however many zeros there are, that's it. Please don't sit there and spend 20 minutes, you know, with some long multiplication problem like crying and falling off a cliff and, you know, rolling around in the sand and all eating, you know, gluten-free cheese and that kind of stuff. Just do it this way. It's a lot easier. For example, good grief. That's ridiculous. I mean, even though this is very close to my annual salary. Okay. If you multiply by 100... Good grief, just write the thing, 47162314, and go, okay, two zeros, done. You can do this if you want to, to kind of, you know, make the number more readable if you have to write it out or whatever, but there you go. That's all you need to do, okay? How about this one? Multiply that by 10,000. Now, you don't have to be a genius. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Oop, there's my, uh, my mother... Honey, I just fell off a cliff and hit my head on the... Oh, I'll, I'll answer that later. She's probably okay. Okay, well, this has four zeros, one, two, three, four. That just means you're going to go one, two, three, four, and the answer is 316 and 52 hundredths. That's it. Don't make this complicated. It's very simple, okay? Now, we're dividing by a thousand. If you multiply it by stuff and you move it to the right, when you divide, you move it to the left. And that's all. Multi divided by a thousand, that's three zeros, which means you go one, two, three, decimal, doop, there we go, point zero four one three two. That's all there is to it. There you go. Okay, same thing here. We got four zeros now. And it's, it's right here, so we go one, two, three, four, point zero zero four eight five one two. That's all there is to it. Okay. Now, when you see decimal numbers, uh, remember the ones we did weeks ago or days ago, like ordering decimal numbers from least to greatest and so on? It's the same thing here. When you read these off, it makes it easier. But what you can do is you can just look at the first numeral behind each, the decimal and c compare those. So we have a 4 here, a 0 here, a 7, and a 0. So the, obviously the zeros are going to be the ones that are the smallest. All right, and then the question is, which one is lesser, this one or this one? Well, obviously, this is 426 ten thousandths is lesser. So this is going to be A. This will be the second one, B. And among, or because between these two, this will be the lesser, and this will be the greater. So that's the order. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the practice problems on page 33. Go ahead and do A, and then pause it, and then come back when you're ready. Okay, A is 4,162 times 100. 
you're just going to add two zeros. So the answer is going to be 416,200. Pause it and try B. Okay, 4162 divided by 100. The decimal in 4162 is right there. If you have your divide and you have two zeros, the answer is right there, 41.62. There you go. Pause it and try C. Okay, well, if you're going 7, 3, 2, 4, 6, and you're multiplying by 10,000, that means you're adding 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. And there you go. All right, which is my annual salary. Okay, pause it and try D. All right, this is a nightmare if you were just to try to do this. 7, 3, point 4, 1, 6 divided by 10,000. You're just going to move it over four times since there are four zeros, and then there we go. That's the decimal. Two zeros. There we go. Okay. Try E. Pause it and try E. Okay. Well, let's look at this. I mean, you don't have to write a perfect number line on this. I would just write something like this, you know, you know, and just approximate it. But the the one that's going to be on the very left will be 0.423. They all have 0.4. They all start out in four, as four tenths. But then we have 42 hundredths, and then the next one will be 40.445. The next one to the right will be 0.453, and the last one will be 0.460. So those are all out of those are all thousandths. That's that's the word it's going to go in. Okay, pause it and try F. All right, F least to greatest. These are the numbers you have. We have 0.321. We have 0.09. Four, five. We have 0 0.095 and we have 0 0.3199. Now it looks like at first glance that maybe these numbers are bigger, you know, because they have more digits. But what we need to do if we're not sure about that is just to add a zero. If you want to make them all the same number of digits, that kind of clears things up a lot. But we know one of these has to be the least of the four numbers, right? They're, they both compare evenly so far, but then we go, ah, there's a four there. So this will be the least number right there. That's going to be way farthest on the left. Obviously, this will be the, the next here. Now, this one looks kind of similar. Now, let, you know what? Read this off just in your head or out loud. If there's like people around, you know, don't say anything. You know, just read it to yourself. If you do read it out loud and there's people around, then like, don't tell me you learned that from me or anything. Okay. All right. This one is three, uh, 3,210 ten thousandths, right? This one is 3,199 ten thousandths. Obviously, this is the lesser of the two. So that's going to be the, the next to last one, and then this will be the last one. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. All right. Take care.